Hey guys, it's Bowler here. Um, I got <clears throat> two eyes in the road, one hand on the wheel, and uh, we have no power. We've had no power for 17 and a half hours. It's 3.32 in the afternoon, and all of Route 38 here in Tewksbury has no power. I'm trying to find a place that has power and food, because right now, I'm absolutely starving. Everything in the house is going bad. There's no microwaves, no... Well, we have a stove that's working, but only through a match. But right now, I need to find Wi-Fi because I have homework due in the morning, and there's no way I can get it done. I have to email my professor, and I need to find a place that has power. Not even the university has power right now, so I gotta... These lights are out, too, so apparently uh, the place I was hoping to go to has no power still. Lovely. All right, so that means I'm going to have to keep driving. Uh, yeah, McDonald's. That's where I was going to, right there. They have no power. Wait, they might. They might have power. They, no, they don't. Because there's no one in the parking lot at all. But apparently there's power over here. These lights are working. And there's a lot of people trying to get gas. Yeah, people. So I'm going to have to keep driving. I'm going to have to drive into Wilmington here. Holy mother of God. It's raining over there. <laughs> we only got like two, three inches of snow, but it was enough to take out the uh, the power in basically the entire town as a cop just rolled past me. Anyway, my old bosses just drove past me here. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be crazy. Quite the interesting day. Uh, again, we're at 17 and a half hours with no power. Uh, and I'm hearing that there's a chance that we may not get it back for three days. That sucks. Big time. Um, so, so it's going to be rather interesting having to go through this, go through most of this week possibly without any power at all. Um, no power, no heat, nothing. Uh, even my laptops are starting to get really low on their battery life because I've been you know, trying to use them um, to listen to music and stuff like that. But that's why I have my iPod too, uh, which was what I should have been using in the first place. But oh well. Uh, I managed to pull through and get about like five, six hours of sleep. Uh, so I'm still really tired, really tired. I was hoping to get 10, 11 hours just so I can make up for lost sleeping time during the week, thanks to school and everything. So yeah, I'm probably not gonna be on for a while. Well, by the time you see this video, I'll probably be back online, but I may find a Wi-Fi hotspot to upload this video, just to give you guys a heads up. Because I'm cold and thankfully, I got heat in the car. So, yeah. Let's see if these lights have power. They don't. They do not have power over here. Those lights must have been running off another grid. That's the only way they'd have power right now. Um, so, yeah. This area has no power either. And I'm driving into Wilmington now, about to actually. Uh, we're getting close to the Tewksbury Wilmington line here on Route 38 uh, with no power except for one set of traffic lights um, so far. So I'm going to be driving here into Wilmington in just a minute. And man, oh man, does this heat feel real nice. I can actually feel my hands and my feet, my feet starting to thaw out. It feels so great. So great. Yeah, and as far as the eye can see, I don't see any lights on. Well, then again, it's going to be difficult to see lights on. I'm going to try to look into some of these buildings here. And so far, I'm seeing no open signs lit. Um, yeah, people, a lot of people are, I think a lot of people are driving around just so they can get some, something to eat because... 
like I said, you know, 17, 18 hours later, if you don't have your food in the cooler like we do, that food's gonna be gone. So now I'm just passing into Wilmington. This is quite possibly one of the craziest days I've ever, ever, ever been in. I mean, I've had power the power go out of my house for eight hours, but never 18 hours, which is what we're about to go on here. All because of a snowstorm to dump two, three inches of snow. I mean, then again, it was probably more, but it was so wet and dank that it was, you know, just way down the power lines. There's even power lines down uh, on my side street, so... I have to take a. De I have to be. I'm detoured on my own street just to get to my house. Um, <clears throat> that's why I'm happy I have two side roads I can take. <laughs> but there's power here actually. Um, I don't know if these lights are being run off of that side street, but these lights are on. That's a good sign. Because um, if these lights are on down here, uh, down here at Wilmington Center, I may actually be able to go to Sonic. But the thing is, Sonic has no Wi-Fi. And that did not sound good to my car. Uh, but thankfully, there's a McDonald's right there. And I'm pretty sure they have Wi-Fi. So I'll be able to get at least, you know, some. Um, I'll be able to get my email. Um, but I'll probably have to wait like 20 minutes in line outside just so I can get in. Because they're one of the only places around that are, you know, that have power. And I'm sure they're, they're probably selling food like crazy over there. And boy, are people breaking hard. Yep, I think people are trying to get in here because there's a lot of traffic, as you can obviously tell. Um, so I'm assuming that there's power. It's just a matter of, you know, if McDonald's has any food left. Because <laughs> believe me, they probably have all their employees and they're probably still lines out the door. I will not be surprised. We're about to find out in about like five minutes. But I'll stop this real quick. So I can conserve battery on this iPod. <laughs> 